That's Neil Sheehy wearing number zero. He battles with Probert. Klima digs the puck loose. Trying to cut in. Francis with a good defensive job there on Klima. Now Sheehy bumps Probert to the ice. Shabbat comes over to dig the puck loose. Way to head man the puck, though. It's the coaster. Look at Sheehy. He's going to go with coaster way behind the play. Coaster took a swipe at Samuelson, and then Sheehy. Right. You'll see he's a boxing champion out of Harvard University. He's got a pretty good hold on Joe Coaster. He can go. Look at him. He's, look at the moves. He got the uppercut and, and he's going to body punches. You believe that? Coaster trying to get that one right hand loose, the hammer. Now they get in. You'll see he also coming over from Calgary with Kerry Wilson. And Sheehy and Koser will cool it out for five minutes apiece. No score in a hockey game. Back after this. Samuelson will go back to touch up. Probert will give him a little shove anyway. Now Stu Gavin comes over to give Probert a shove. Probert looks like he's in a mood tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly what they need, too. Now well, there's been so much talk about Probert with the game misconducts and whatever. The, the only time that the Wings really have to worry about that guy is when we get inside of the last four games of the season because, as we mentioned, as far as game misconducts, the slate is wiped clean in the playoffs. But if he were to get a suspension for four games with two games left, he would serve the first two games of that suspension in the regular season and have to sit out the first two games of the playoffs. So. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember that not a, there's, there's more than one way for uh, C. Probert really hit Samuelson late after the whistle. There's an automatic icing, and uh, that's what the Whalers got upset at. See, Gavin comes in there, but... Up the middle for Tippett. Oh, boy, he had his hit down. He was drilled by Delore. You believe he didn't go down, though? Oh, that's know even it. more surprising. That's incredible. And on the headman pass, takes it across the line. His shot blocked by Norwood high off the glass. Oh, my, what a swing of the stick. You're going to get two? Boy, I'm surprised that Norwood Norwood's didn't uh, he's gonna go, retaliate. Norwood. Norwood is going as well. He's going too. Oh, boy. One down, and back comes Babbage for the Whalers. Nice drop pass there for Gavin. Let's the shot go. He scores! And here comes Gallant back the other way for Detroit. Gallant tried to hit the late man, gave it away to Ferraro. Ray Ferraro is in. He scores! Give away at center ice by Gallant. Burr trying to cut in. Put it right out in front, oh. and Nil had a stick lifted there by Turgeon at the last second. Ooh. Just to take it, but take the, the open net pass away, and he did that perfectly. That was Higgins with that hip check. And back comes Probert now, up the right wing. Little soft pass, Shabbat back for Klima, score! Boom, boom, boom. Coaster across the line. Lowers the shoulder. Took it in along the end board. Trying to knock it away from Samuelson. Coaster. Coaster knocks Samuelson and the net over. Watch Samuelson Second here, Dave. Period. Watch, look at him with the left hand on the stick. See, Koster can't get it loose. He could have gotten that puck. And there goes the net. Tried to drop it back. It was knocked away, and Kerry Wilson able here to. Here they go. There. Here they go. Robertson and Koster. Oh boy, Robertson gets down on the ice right away. That's a dangerous position to be in when you got big Koster on top of you. You knew those two were going to go. They were jawing at each other behind the play. Robertson there ran Coaster into the boards as he cleared it up, and boom, down they go. Joey just wailing away with that right hand. But Gallant couldn't get squared away. And the Whalers come back. McDermott rolls it in behind. You Anderson. fucking cut! You're Samuelson fucking cut. is hit in the face by a... High stick, errant high stick from Higgins. And the Oilers very, very upset. 
the whole bench up screaming at Timmy Higgins. And it's a double minor, four minutes to Tim Higgins for high sticking. And Demare, look at Demaris. He's really going after somebody. Is he ever upset? Look at him. He's still high. Uh-oh. Here comes Marowelli. Here comes Marowelli, and, and he's coming right for Demare's. They're going to go head to head, the two of them. This is going to be something. Look at Demare's. Marowelli's warning them. Back off. Back off, or I'll give you a bench minor. They're going nose to nose, Demare's and Marowelli. Gets his point across to Marowelli. Still two to one in favor of the whale. Hamlin will cover up. Norwood had a hold of the whaler player there as Tepper's getting very short again in a hurry. <laughs> That's Turgeon that Norwood's kind of rough up there. Now kicks it out to Delorme, bouncing shot. Wider Broder, it's out in front. Shabbat being held. Probert was dumped. Delorme trying to get around Ferraro. Gets it to Shabbat. Look at Norwood. It comes to Norwood. He takes the shot. Broder, it's gone. Now old Samuelson across the line for Francis. Lays it out in front, a chance here, and Lindsey Carson couldn't get control. And Delorme drills in, and then chase on a hit on Francis. Here's Kevin Deneen, number 11. Son of Bill Deneen, of course, the Adirondack Red Wings coach. Oh, a chance for the Whalers, they score! It took a bad bounce, and Hamlin went one way, and the puck went the other. And Tempers get short again. Bad decision by Hamlin to try to play that puck, he missed it. If he plays the puck, it's a good decision, but he missed the puck as it came on the short side and it bounced right out in front of the net and drilled in by the Whalers. And now Gallant really upset, grabs Deneen from behind and pulls him down. Vladisir and Pavis go down on each other. And there's gonna be some maybe game misconducts here as Marioli trying to get everybody out of the road. See, Gallant was really after Kevin Deneen. They hadn't even gotten back to center ice. And all this erupted. And cleared by Chason. Taken by Babich. Ooh, oh, he hit his teammate, McDermott, right in the helmet. You know, I don't understand why that should be offside there. That, to me, is a very, very bad call. Babich shoots the puck outside the line, yes, but he hit his own player and right. came back in. That should not be an offside play, and they were going to call it. Is that right? Yeah. I didn't uh, notice the linesman about to make the call. They did call it for another infraction, right. but, you know, if it hits a Red Wing player, yeah, that should be fine. Or it hits an official, that's another thing. But, I mean, it's like, it's just like if, uh, for example, you're back and standing in front of the net, and a Hartford player, for some reason, has the puck at center, and he decides to bring it back over the blue line. They don't call it offside. Right. And he gives it to you, and you score. It's a legal goal. Yep. Something strange about that call. Still a lot of players milling around out there at center ice. Let's have a look at that. Here's where he hits the helmet right there, you see? Now that's all Hartford. Yeah. And they were going to call that offside. I'll look for a clarification I'm gonna, I'm on I'm that gonna, Yeah, I'm going to talk to one of the officials here and try to get a, a clarification on, on what that call exactly is or whether he was going to, you know, make a call and, and uh, in error. Once Chason threw it over there, it ended up, I think, on Shabbat stick, and he didn't have much chance to do anything because he's going to be checked, and you don't want to be checked. you got to get the puck out in front. It just, unfortunately, for the wings, went right to a whaler in the deep slot. It went through three Red Wings, and once again, you've got Kevin Deneen and Gerard Gallant trying to get at each other with 16 seconds left. You you 
say, some very bad tempers for these two teams tonight. Tell you. You're going to hear them going back and forth. Marawali's just trying to keep order here that this thing doesn't get out of hand with only 16 seconds to go. Big, big victory for the Whalers. They're now three points up on the Nordiques. Robert and Samuelson with words again. Well, I'm telling you, these guys just don't want to quit. I don't know what happened with Elf Samuelson, but boy, everybody in white and red tonight was taking a shot at number five for the Hartford Whalers. And these guys are still jawing at each other as a attempt to get them off the ice to their benches. It's been a while since we've seen that kind of intensity. Uh, I mean, it lasted and went on and on and on with a team like the Hartford Whalers, but Probert, for some reason, wanted another piece of uh, Samuelson. He was seemed to be the target of everybody all night long, but boy, the Whalers walk into Joe Louis Aruna and take two humongous points from the Red Wings and now go three above the Quebec Nordiques as they fight for that last playoff spot. We'll be back to wrap it up in just a moment. Thank you.